All right, Coach Polk, uh, a split today against Wayne State. Uh, another, the first game, win 3-2 in 10 innings. Another flair for the dramatic game. Adam Gomendon has a walk-off single in the bottom of the 10th. Um, you were able to co come out and, uh, and when he needed to get that base hit in the, in the 10th. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, we, we scrambled a little bit to get some runs early, uh, but then we took advantage of a couple of mistakes by them. Uh, got bases loaded with nobody else, so it was a matter of, you know, all we needed was a base hit, fly ball, anything. That cross, get a chance to score there. And Adam did a, had a good at bat, hit a ball hard up the middle, that got through. Uh, in that 10th inning, uh, a really good job by your hitters of, of being patient, waiting for their pitch. There was a walk involved, uh, a couple of good good swings of the bat uh, that was able to get you the victory. Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's what we're trying to get all year long. We haven't really been real consistent with that, and that's what cost us a couple of games. But uh, hopefully, we're getting toward the end here. Hopefully, we're going to get a little bit better on those things. Uh, Aaron Holverson was on the mound for the first game. Uh, throws seven innings, doesn't get the win, uh, but really held Wayne's offense in check. And then Tyler Zemel comes in, picks up the win in relief, uh, and only allowed one hit in three innings. So two guys in that first game that were pitching really well. Yeah, they did a good job. And we, we, Aaron's been pitching like that all year long. And, and actually, Tyler now, his last three outings, has done really well. He's, he's back to the normal way I expect him to pitch. He was a little rusty early because it was kind of part of our scheduling where, where he wasn't a regular guy out there. He was going to be a midweek starter. And so he didn't get regular innings, but now we know he's going to be and uh, with no moving Jamie Soik to the bolt from uh, catching to this rotation, Tyler's going to be in the pen five more right now, so he's going to get consistent work. It shows he's more, a little bit more effective. Uh, second game, uh, another close game. Wayne's able to have one big inning, get a couple runs, uh, and come away with the victory. Uh, but another really good pitching performance overall. Yeah, we did, except for the, the Mike Wasik that inning, we walked the bases loaded. And that, uh, you know, I think they scored five runs, four of them were walks. Uh, and then we've been trying to preach that, make sure that we make them make kind of. If they beat you by hitting the ball, that's you tip your hat. You can't get them those freebies. And, you know, after that we settled in and it's fine, but we just didn't get anything capitalized to get anything high off. So. Final road trip of the conference season coming up this weekend, four games at Bemidji. Um, what's the message for the team going into this last uh, week of play? Well, with the split today, we're still sitting pretty good. And then our key thing, we, you know, we want to win all four. Uh, the goal is to get at least three. The is going to be tough up there. You know they swing the bats pretty good. I don't know what they have for people up there. We'll see where that in the rotation. But it's always a, it's always fun to be up in the midge and play. And there's uh, they're going to swing the bats a little bit and see what happens. But they're you know we want to come back with at least three if not four.